Well, as many have observed, there is a missing multilateral regime for migration. There is an absence of a universal treaty embracing the entirety of the migratory process, ranging from the right to leave, the right to stay, um, the obligation to return, and sometimes forced repatriation. Jumping into this gap of the missing multilateral regimes are increasingly bilateral migration management agreements. Bilateral migration agreements can be a good steering tool if they achieve a triple win, meaning achieving benefits for the source country, the host country and the migrant herself. Now achieving these triple linkages is often done through so-called issue linkages where the migrant uh, sending country is offered market access quotas and in return is asked to uh, cooperate on readmitting irregular migrants and controlling migration for um, the migrant receiving country. The downside of many of these bilateral migration agreements is that they're pretty weak in protecting migrants' human rights and that they um, have prompted venue shopping among uh, migrant receiving countries. So we are engaging um, in a pluridisciplinary research effort combining political science with legal studies and um, this research effort is conducting a large-scale mapping of these bilateral migration agreements, in particular those of France, Spain and Switzerland, uh, towards countries um, in North and West Africa. And we hope to gain more insights to the role of bilateralism in overall migration governance. And in particular, we want to learn whether our hypothesis that bilateral migration agreements act as correctives to the multilateral regime and as correctives to the high skill biased unilateral immigration laws, whether this hypothesis stands or not.